오늘 프라임 연예에서는 내일 개봉하는 스타트랙 비욘드의 주연 배우들을 만나봤습니다. I know. Like, am I too tall for that? <laughs> yes, you are. That's a great thing. So this time, director is Asian. You're Asian. Writer is Asian. And it's just such a united nation of group for the movie. How yeah. great is that? I stopped being Asian in 2007. <laughs> yeah, I let okay. the membership dues lapse. And uh, so I'm no longer Asian. Um, you might renew, right? You want to renew? I might renew. It's just it got really expensive, and I, it just didn't feel like you know I was getting a lot in return. Um, but uh, yeah, it is. Listen, Star Trek. Uh, it, it's uh, one of the hallmarks of Star Trek is its diversity, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm proud that we're continuing that tradition both uh, on screen and off. You know. Yes, and and yes, to hear you point out that three very important positions in the making of a mm -hmm. movie were performed by people of Asian descent, um, it made me feel very happy to be a part of it. We got no ship. Okay, so um, from Better Luck Tomorrow to Fast and Furious series, now Star Trek. So it's a quite a variety of a genre. Yeah. So how did you get involved with this project? Um, I just got a call from J.J. Abrams one day, you know, and he said, <laughs> "Simple you as that." Yeah, it was simple, and and I, I really, you know, I, I was shooting something at the time, and I said, "Hey, well, give me a few days, let me think about it." And when I was thinking about it, I, I realized how much Star Trek was part of me and my family, you know, and I and I at that point is when I decided, you know, I I, I want to try to contribute to the legacy of this great franchise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's never do that again. So, if there's a time warp, it's the question for you, Chris. Um, who will win in a fight for Shatner's Kirk or yours? Mine. And you guys have a, um, a plan to trip to Korea anytime soon? Uh, we do, actually. We're going, we're going to, Korea, to Seoul. Uh, yeah, next month. What's the one thing you want to try in Korea? I want to check out the Korean, uh, the Seoul music scene. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's that'd be great. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Are you really familiar with any kind of Korean music? None. None. Zero. That'd be great experience for you. Right? <laughs> yes, that'd I think fun, so. It'll be fun, right? Yeah. Learn something yep. I don't know. Yep. Well, at least I won't die alone. Well, that's just typical. So you play the doctor for this movie, and it, how are you around the blood and bones in real life? Ooh, I like what you did there. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I'm not too bad. Blood and bones I can handle. Vomit is not my strong point. So I wouldn't really make a good doctor in real life. <laughs> okay. So I'm Asian, and then you have an Asian director, writer, and one of the main characters. How did you guys get along? Are, are you okay with uh, working with bunch of Asians? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really bizarre <laughs> question, and completely <laughs> counter to the philosophy of uh, of Star Trek. I mean, you know, you just, there's no difference between interacting with I don't uh, see an either. Asian character, an African American, Hispanic, gay. I don't like Dutch. No, <laughs> Dutch. Uh, uh, you know what? I see a brilliant writer. I see an amazing director, and one of the most wonderful actors mm -hmm. I've ever met in John Cho, and um, you know, they're a credit to Asia, <laughs> if you like, you know, but they're also a credit to Earth and, mm. and, and to humanity. And This is where it begins, Captain. This is where the frontier pushes back. What the hell is this? I know why you're here. Why we are all here. You are watching LA18 Prime Entertainment. Hey, I'm Zachary Quinto. You're watching LA18 Prime Entertainment.